Hi, my name is Francesco Morelli. I am the CTO of KNAVO. In this video we show you an example of implementation of our real-time monitoring and alerting framework. The framework can be adapted and customized to any business and need where real-time processing of data is required. Please feel free to contact us to discuss how we can help your business. Kenavo is a system integrator with offices in Italy and Switzerland. We specialize in big data, data management, business intelligence and analytics. We are SaaS Silver Partner, Cloudera Silver Partner and Bonita Soft Premier Partners. We now discuss the business scenario of this demonstration. An Italian company provides credit cards and point of sale terminals. They want to monitor transactions in real time to detect unusual behavior. If unusual behavior is detected, an alert is sent to the inspection team and an inspection business process is started. Post terminals are distributed only in the Italian territory. We need to monitor the acquiring transactions in Italy. Clients can use credit cards issued by the company anywhere in the world. We need to monitor issuing transactions worldwide. Data is enriched and analyzed in real time and is then saved to Hadoop HDFS for subsequent analysis. At Kenavo we have developed a solution to satisfy the business requirements using SaaS Event Stream Processing, which is the real-time engine, Bonita Soft for business process management, and Cloudera Hadoop Distribution. We also developed our own software, Kenavo Real-Time Software to orchestrate communication among software components as well as Kenavo Live Dashboard, our own software for real-time reporting. We'll now describe the high-level architecture of the solution. Two live streams of events for credit card transactions feed the system, one for credit card payments processed by post terminals in Italy, the acquiring data, and the other for credit card payment transactions made by companies' clients around the world, the issuing data. The streams are buffered into a Rabbit and Q exchange with one topic for acquiring events and one topic for issuing events. The system also uses prepared tables from a, from a Postgre database read via in-process connectors by SAS CSP. Some tables are used for data lookups to enrich data, while others contain information used to compare the live events and detect unusual behavior. In this example, we compare the transaction amount with the 95th percentile of transaction amount by geography. If the amount is greater, an alert is, an alert is generated. Two SAS CSP Rabbit and Q adapters read events from the exchange and send them to the SAS CSP engine, where they are processed. We we'll see in more detail the implementation of the SAS CSP project in the next section. The SP engine publishes data summarized over windows of 5, 10 and 20 seconds to two additional Rabbit and Q exchanges, each with one topic per time window, which are used to send data to the Kenavo Live Dashboard middle tier layer. The Kenavo Live Dashboard middle tier layer pushes data to the Kenavo Live Dashboard web application via the WebSocket protocol. We see the application in detail later. A third exchange with two topics described to SAS CSP is used to send events to the Kenavo Bonita Soft mid tier layer to create instances of processes for alerts for later evaluation by human operators. Additional SAS CSP publish adapters read detailed and summarize data from SAS CSP windows and publish it to several files in, Hadoop in the Hadoop distributed file system for historical analysis and transformation. Here we can see screenshots of the Kenavo Live Dashboard web application. In the top left uh, we have the, re the real-time report for uh, issuing data. As you can see the data is coming from all over the world and going to the Milan processing center for the transactions. And in the other three screenshots we see data related to the acquiring transactions processed in Italy. We see a live demonstration of this application uh, later in this, uh, in this demonstration. The SAS CSP project was created using the visual interface of SAS CSP Studio. It contains one continuous query with two source windows for streaming data, for acquiring and issuing data respectively. The streaming data is sent to the source windows via the SAS CSP adapter for Rabbit and Q. We can see three additional source windows used to read lookup tables from a database via the database publish connector. The tables contain information for bank, vendor and merchant type. 
and are joined with both live data streams. After being enriched, the issue in events are sent to three copy windows with the retention policies of 5, 10 and 20 seconds. Each event in the copy window is then fed to an aggregate window where the data is summarized to derive statistics for transactions and transaction amount. As described in the architecture section, each aggregate window has a subscribe connector that sends the summarized data to a Rabbit and Q exchange. This is used by, Kina by the Kinavo Live Dashboard web application. The enriched data is also joined with statistics read from an external DB table that contains pre-calculated statistics that are compared with information of the current event in a procedural window with SAS DS2 code. This is DSD2 code, DS2 code. The procedural window has a Rabbit and Q subscribe connector that sends the alert to the issuing topic of the exchange used by the Kinavo Bonito Bonita middle tier layer to create instances of the issuing process. If the condition for the alert is satisfied, an alert is also generated and an email with data about the transaction is sent. So this is the the email that is sent, the definition, and this is the text of the email, which contains data coming from the event, from the stream. Okay. The top branch of the continuous query follows the same logic for acquiring data, but aggregations are al and alerts are calculated at two distinct geographical levels region and province. So we see that for each aggregation window for acquiring we have two, sorry, for each uh, copy window of acquiring we have two aggregation windows, one for region and one for province. We also have joins with two statistics table, one for region and one for province. We can now run the process. We have to start the adapters. And we can see, we can zoom and we can subscribe to the source windows to see the data coming in. So this is the acquiring data, which contain the region and provincial code. And also this is the issuing data. Okay, we can also subscribe to the alert windows to see the alert being the alert data being generated. So, so far we have one alert for acquiring and one alert for issuing. For each of these alerts, of these, of these records, we'll see an email sent to the user. These are the emails that are sent. For example, we have this one for issuing. It contains static text and then we also have all the details about the transaction that generated the alert. This is for issuing and uh, we have another one here for acquiring. Next we see the Kinavo Live Dashboard application. This is the Kinavo Live Dashboard web application. There are four sections, one for real-time data of issuing transactions and the others for acquiring transactions. The lines in the issuing report represent the summarized transactions from their geographical origin to the processing center in Milan in Italy. The different intensities of the color represent the range of the variable. We use blue for number of transactions and red for amount. 
Both issuing and acquiring data can be analyzed by four dimensions, geography, bank, merchant type and vendor. We can subset the data in the report using the combo boxes at the bottom of the screen. Also we can decide which time interval to display in the report, 5, 10 or 20 seconds. This feature is linked to the aggregation windows we have seen in SAS ESP. So this is for the update frequency, 5, 10 or 20 seconds. And these are the combo boxes for the bank, merchant type and vendor. We can subset the data by selecting one bank and also for example by selecting one vendor. And we can see that the lines are a bit more sparse than before because we're looking at the data only for this bank and this vendor. The map can also be changed as desired. We can change the map. And we can also change to this other map, which is a favorite of mine. And we can also zoom on the map. In case we see something unusual, we can stop the live stream of data and go back in time for further analysis. We can pause the live stream. We can go back, for example, one, ev one event and another event. So we can actually see the data, what happened. and we can start the live stream again for the report. The Acquiring Charts and Grids uh, section represents real-time uh, representations of the acquiring data. On the top left, a grid represents the detailed data for the last five events rolling. We can stop and start tracking the detailed data and analyze it. So we can, for example, stop and we can see in this case it's summarized by region and we have transactions and amount. And you see we have a time window of 5 seconds because the, time, the update frequency is 5 seconds. At the bottom left the radar chart represents the data in a clock-like fashion. This is useful to identify peaks and throws in the data which may indicate a problem. The KPI indicator shows the total number of transactions, amount and the moving average of the number of transactions over the update frequency of the report. The two line chart on the right show the trend of the transaction and the amount, keeping the colors uh, red for amount and uh, blue for number of transactions. The acquiring line map uh, report shows the acquiring transactions summarized by region. Again, the red color represents amount, whereas the blue color represents transactions. We can subset by bank, merchant type and vendor. We can select one bank, for example. And we see the data only for that bank. In this report we can also drill down into the geography dimension to see the data for the, pro the provincial level. At the right of the map we can see the uh, geographic information legend, what we can do, or info box, what we can do, we can stop, for example, again the live stream, and by hovering the regions we can see the information on the top right info box for each region, and we can start the live stream again. The last section does not show real-time data, but shows the last 24 hours. 
It shows the data for the last roll in 24 hours, summarized by the usual dimensions and time in intervals of one hour. The data available to this report is refreshed every hour. Every hour. So this is the data from, uh, from yesterday, 24 hours ago, and we can move for to the next tower, you see 19, 20, 21. We can again zoom into the provincial level, and now the data is also the grid also contains information for the for uh, the province. We can also select a specific bank and uh, one merchant type if we like, for example this one. And now the data in the grid and in the map is subset by uh, by these dimensions. Okay, we can reset the subset. And of course we can sort the table by any value. We have created two simple processes for acquiring and issuing for this demonstration. The processes simply receive the event information, then the human operator decides whether the, al the alert is a fraud or not. Obviously, in the real-world processes can be much more complex. We are using a simple organization with two teams, with one user each. One team inspects issuing alerts and the other acquiring, al acquiring alerts. So these are the processes. We have the issuing process with the issuing team is inspection team as an, a, an actor and the same for acquiring. The processes are the same for this demonstration. They do the same thing. The Kenavo Bonita soft middle tier layer receives issuing and acquiring alert event information and uses it to start a process instance. Here we can see the logo of the process instance is being created and started. Okay, user Joe Pinks is part of the acquiring inspection team. So now we are logged in as Joe Pinks and we see we have the acquiring cases coming in. We have a few already. We can select one task and do it. In this very simple process we can see only the variables, read them and then the human operator can decide if this is a fraud of this is or this is not a fraud. In this case we can see fraud. Okay. For issuing we have another user, Albert White, with issuing alerts in cases. Again we can select one task, do it. Again, we can see just for this for this demonstration just the uh, the variables and decide if it's fraud or not. Okay, this is, this was a very simple demonstration for Bonita. Of course, these can be expanded in uh, real case scenarios. Thank you for your time and attention. We'd be happy to answer your questions and discuss any specific business requirements you might have. Please contact us at the email address on screen or call the number provided. You can find more information about Kenavo on our website at kenavo.com. Thanks again. Bye.